Good afternoon, how are you doing? Figured I'd um, have a bit of a change of scenery for once. I'm just on my lunch break at work. I just, I've finished all my um, deliveries and I'm now on the way back. I've got about just under a two hour drive back to the depot. I've got my sat nav over there. Sitting on this side so I'm not in the sun. Yeah, I've got just under a two hour drive back to the depot. But I figured I'd um, have my lunch break and make a quick little video. Just figured I'd try, um, like I say, a little bit of change of scenery, see how it goes. Hopefully you can hear me over the traffic going past, I'm parking as a quite a busy road. And I don't have much battery left either, so I'm hoping this isn't just going to cut out halfway through recording. That would be a bit of a pain. Oh, I know he's sliding away, I can feel it sliding about. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, I was, um... That's safe. That little old man walking along a highway, that's really clever. Anyway, <laughs> you see some crazy things when you're driving about sometimes. Nothing is right. Anyway, yes, so I was at the uh, delivery this morning. I've been doing bulk deliveries all day, which is, as it sounds, literally take a whole lorry load out to one place and drop it off. Drop off the whole lot and come back and refill. I've been doing that all day today. I've just finished my third, third run. And um, yeah, so I was at my first delivery this morning, which was a farm. This time of year we start delivering to uh, to particular pheasant farms, they keep they use the gas to keep the chicks warm at night and to rear them. And um, while I was there, one of the farmers, he's a slightly unusual chap. I've, I've delivered to him a few times. He's he's a lovely chap. He's a little bit hyperactive and a little bit eccentric, I guess you could say. But he said something that got me thinking a little bit, just about um, comments and things that people tend to make when they see. And they start talking to you and they see you've got big ears or a big septum or something, anything like that. And um, he, he quite easily said he wasn't trying to... He wasn't trying to be rude or anything, but he said um, something along the lines of... Um, what was it now? Anyway, something along the lines of... I get that you're trying to be unique, but I just don't get it. Or some, something to that effect. Something about trying to be unique or something. Something like that. And it got me thinking a little bit about sort of the random comments some people, some people make. And it sort of made me wonder a little bit what people... I want, it always makes me wonder what people think in general, in a way. When they see a person with, like, big stretched ears or covered in tattoos. Tattoos, not so much, because they're... Especially in England, they're very, very common these days. But when you see something perhaps a little less common, like the big ears or someone with... 50 piercings in their face or something and um, yeah it sort of got me wondering because I never really know how to reply to things like that when people say something like that especially because like I say I know no one's ever really trying to be offensive in the in the how long have I been stretching my ears now well in the well more than 15 15 years now I think since I've been getting piercings and various modifications I reckon I can count the amount of times people have genuinely been intentionally confrontational and tried to, intentionally to be insulting. I could probably count that on one hand if I actually thought about it. It's very, very rare that anyone... With the exception of people online, you always get the online trolls that seem to... I guess they feel like they're invincible because they're behind a computer screen. But it's very, very unusual that anyone says anything intentionally cruel or intentionally offensive. I say, it does happen very occasionally. I can remember once, once at Tesco's, I think. Yeah, in the entire time at Tesco's, which I worked there for 10 years. It was 10 years to the month, believe it or not. Yeah, in the entire time I was there, I can think of literally one person, or one couple, in fact, that were intentionally quite rude and aggressive towards me just because of my piercings. And that's in that entire time period. There's, it doesn't usually happen, but... Um, like, I never quite know how to, like I say, I never quite know how to reply to people who say things like that. Because obviously, um, another common one is, not common as such, but someone else who, who is a regular delivery of mine, who I deliver to, not necessarily every week, but every other week, is a chap who works in a warehouse. And, um, I remember once he made a comment about 
something along the lines of, oh, you clearly like attention or something because of your ears and your piercings. Again, I never really know quite how to reply to that. Because people... I say, obviously these people think that you're doing it in order just to stand out or something, something like that. But that's really not the case. And I know certainly for a lot of people who get heavy modifications and who are very much into heavy, heavy tattoos and heavy piercings and heavy modifications and the likes, quite often it's not a case of wanting to be different. It's just... It's very much that you enjoy these particular things and this is a particular passion and hobby that you want to pursue and that just leads you to looking a little bit different. It's not an intentional... It's not intentionally trying to be different. It just it is just a case of um, doing something you love that leads you to look a little bit different in the long run. If that makes sense. The um, I guess the um, the looking slightly different is um, is a byproduct of um, what we try to do <laughs> when we're when we're excuse me when we're playing with our bodies and experimenting with these different random little things. We. It's more of a case of, um, like I say, it's a case of just doing something we are passionate about that results in us perhaps not looking like your average Jerry on the street. But, but yeah, so that got me thinking a little bit about other comments and things people have made and and that sort of thing. And the vast, the vast majority of people I've spoken to and have approached me to ask questions. 99 out of 100 are always polite and they're just genuinely curious. Most people aren't grossed out by it or creeped out by it or anything like that. And most people don't necessarily like it. It's, you seem to get that very small percentage of people that really hate it and a very small percentage of people that really love it. So the 90% in the middle of the two extremes just are just genuinely curious, I, guess, I suppose, which is there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So, um, trying to remember, I say back in, um, there's a few people I've met who I've actually gotten to know through the whole piercing thing in person, because they, they came up to me to start with and say, like, how do you do that? How long have you taken? Does it hurt? All the sort of usual questions that you get. And they've, they've gone on to become either regular customers of, my, the regular customers of mine here, or um, or people who I would regularly see come shopping back when I was at Tesco's, and it's it almost uh, almost acts as like a um, a starting point to actually interact with people and um, and learn a little bit more about people, which is quite nice. Uh, I'm not particularly a people person at the best of times, but I have no problem having a little five-minute chat here and there. So. But yeah, there's just. Um, it does often make me wonder, because obviously a lot of people who think certain things either can't be bothered to say or they don't want to say exactly what's on their mind and all that sort of thing. But um, yeah, as a general rule, people seem people are usually quite polite and they're mostly mostly just curious. I'd be um, I'd be very interested to hear from anyone anyone watching this if you've had any interesting reactions from um, the general public and random strangers, be it positive or negative. I've had, um, like I said, I've definitely had it both ways. So I've had a, ha a small handful of people be intentionally rude. Sort of, the, You will literally get a, the occasional person who does get very angry and gets right up in your face and go, oh, why would you do that and all that sort of stuff. And then you get the flip side. I remember... Um, once again, back when I was at Tesco's, every Halloween they would do uh, the fireworks. They would sell fireworks for Halloween or, or fireworks night or whatever. And um, there was only a few of us that would actually that had actually been through the training that you need to do in order to do to sell the fireworks and all that sort of stuff. And that I was so I was one of them, so I'd regularly end up on there. And I remember one year in particular, my ears weren't even particularly big at the time. I reckon my septum must have been, I think it was 14 if I remember rightly. Because I have a funny feeling it was actually quite painful at the time, which is why I remember that. And I guess my ears must have been probably not much more than an inch, maybe an inch and a half at the time. 
and this little old lady came up to me. She must have been, I say old, not old, old. She must have been early 60s, I guess. She came up to me and she started asking me sort of how you do it and all that sort of stuff. And she, um, she actually said to me if she was younger, she would have loved to have done it herself, which I thought that was, that was really sweet in a way. <laughs> I, I said to her that it doesn't matter how old you are, if there's something you're really interested in, there's no reason not to do it. So, but yeah, so yeah, you, you literally get both ends of the spectrum. Like I say, 90% of the people fall in that middle bracket where they just really don't care one way or the other. At most, they might just ask a question out of curiosity. But then you get the, the extreme few people that genuinely do hate it. And even the people that don't like it, they're not always rude. Like they'll, they'll say, oh, it makes me cringe or something like that. Or, oh, it just looks painful or something to that effect. But even then, when they, when they don't like it, there's, it's very, very rare that people are actually rude about it. So, um... Yeah, I just thought that was interesting. And so I wanted to, part of the reason I'm doing the video now, I wanted to do it while I was actually thinking about it, rather than when I get home and five minutes before I fall asleep and I have no energy left. So, yeah, I thought, um, let's get the video out there and done. And like I say, if anyone has any amusing public interactions with people or anything of that effect, like I say, positive or negative, I'd be very interested to hear, to hear just, um, what other people's experiences are, I guess. So that's the only way we're going to learn about each other's experiences if we speak about it and share it. So I'm more than happy to um, read through a few comments if anyone fancies leaving a couple. And yeah, look forward to hearing from a few people. Anyway, my phone is getting boiling hot now because I'm holding it in the sun, so I'm going to turn it off before it um, before it explodes or something bizarre. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. I'd say the road. Big old truck and bus. The road right next to me is very busy and very loud. So hopefully you've been able to hear me all right, and this hasn't been a waste of um, ten minutes or how long I've been nattering away for. And I will speak to you again soon, probably at the weekend. Hope you're all doing well, and I will see you again soon. Ta-ra!